Hi friends, so today I'm sharing my cabbage soup recipe or my attempted cabbage soup recipe. If you watched my slow cooker chicken alfredo video that I shared, oh, about a week or two, I'll try to pop a card up with that. In that video, I used, I had slow cooked my chicken and I used the broth from the chicken whenever I pulled my chicken alfredo out of the slow cooker. I had about an inch or so of broth and then I used that to put in a head of cabbage and some extra chicken and a few odds and ends vegetables and I made myself some wonderful cabbage soup. These last couple weeks I've been making myself cabbage soup. I love it and it's healthy for me in trying to do my Trim Healthy Mama which I've had good success in over these last few weeks. So I just want to show you what goes into this cabbage soup because so many of you have requested it. If you would like the full recipe you can click on the description below and hop over to the Encouraging Homeschool Mom blog and I'll have it all spelled out for you there. But I'm going to flip my camera around now. I'm still videoing on my silly phone here for a few more days, I guess. And I'm going to show you what I have that goes into this. So what I have here is I have a whole head of cabbage that I have just cut up with my knife. And it is all here. This will reduce down and cook up nicely. Now, I have a story about this platter that now looks very messy. Hopefully here on the screen, I am showing you pictures of how nice my platter looked. I, I just dropped my platter and spilled about a third of everything that was on here and I had to cut, I, and I had to cut another squash and another zucchini and now these ingredients are scrambled. So these are things that obviously didn't fall but they got lost in the shuffle when I was trying to keep, I'm gonna keep my platter upright. So what I have is I have two chicken breasts that I have taken and I've shredded. Also what is in here, as I mentioned, a whole squash, a whole zucchini. Now, again, you can see in the picture, this was nice and measured out. This is a cup of brown rice that we had as leftovers. I also chopped up one green onion, and I also had about a third of a cup of these little carrot shreds. So again, because this is going to make six to eight quarts of soup, I figure these little, this little cup of rice and a few little carrots for color are not going to be a huge deal. I'm not going to worry about it and I'm going to enjoy this soup. So also what I have over here is I have some chicken broth, onion powder, some chives, garlic powder. If you watch a lot of my cooking videos, you know I just use these spices often and whatever spices I have. I have a little bit of Kerrygold butter left and I'm also going to put a little butter in this recipe. And I got a little salt, little pepper, and I'm going to put it in this cr slow cooker. Now the reason I keep saying that this recipe is going to make six to eight quarts is I don't remember if this is a six quart or eight quart cork slow cooker. So I'm just going to start piling it in here now. So I'm going to pour in my chicken broth. This was 48 ounces. If I would have just made a recipe with chicken, I would have used the broth that that made. But since I didn't, I'm just using this ready to serve chicken broth that I got at Walmart. Yay! Good job, chicken broth. And next, I'm going to put in this whole big thing of cabbage. There we go. Got a few more left. And again, all of this cabbage will reduce down. So about three hours on high, this soup is going to be done and I'm going to love it. And over here, I have to laugh at myself because, you know, I cut everything and made these little uh, platters with everything organized to show you all. And that's just what I get for trying to look like I had thought ahead on this because I spilled it and mixed it all up. So I'm going to put that in there. So here's how it looks so far. So another thing that I'm adding, you'll see that I'm using this bowl. This bowl is about four cups of water. I cannot find I cannot find my large measuring cup that has four cups. I put a total of eight extra cups of water in here in addition to the 48 ounces of chicken broth. So you can see how this is looking. We have all these wonderful vegetables and the shredded chicken, just a few little shreds of carrot and that little cup of brown rice. And now going along with my great Jay Morrell professional cooking, I am going to shake, shake, shake in the garlic powder 
and this onion powder comes out fast. I put some onion powder in there, and then some chives because I have them. And what I have left in my little salt shaker, it doesn't even look like a full teaspoon of salt. I will probably put some more salt in later. And then for ease, I just poured in my pepper. Now I'm gonna stir it up. Also, remember that with this recipe, it's very much like what would be called a kitchen sink recipe. And that just means whatever you have besides the sick kitchen sink, you just throw it in. So I start with a head of cabbage and then the other vegetables that I put into this really depend on what I have. I had on hand squash, I had zucchini, so those were easy to throw in. I had green onion, but you know, a few weeks ago when I first did this recipe and I shared it on Instagram, all I did it with was the, the, the head of cabbage, four of the chicken breast, and chicken broth, and then some salt and pepper. And that was so good, I had eaten practically the whole thing myself within two days. So this is going to cook down, and I will show you all how it looks in a few hours. So I just got most of the kids to bed, and I'm going to check in on this cabbage soup. I already scooped a bowl of it so I can give you guys a peek at what it looks like. It is boiling hot. I'm gonna let it cool off and now I will have some wonderful cabbage soup for myself and also for my mom because she's visiting and I just consider it a quick healthy snack and even a full meal. So here you go, let's have a look. So here is what a bowl of it turned out like. Oh my, so sorry, shadows everywhere. Shadows are not included. But hopefully you guys can see we've got cabbage, we have some chicken, we have the zucchini. And here is how the slow cooker, woo, lots of smoke coming up, pot of the cabbage soup turned out. So remember, you can use all kinds of different veggies that you have available. You could use a different kind of meat. I just usually have chicken here. And so there's a look at it. So let me know in the comments below if you have a special cabbage soup recipe and how you make that work for your family. And anything else you want to chat about in the comments, I'll talk to you down there. Until next time, bye-bye.